This is the stories of giants. There are lots of stories about giants and lots of different giants. Some were quite small, but most were enormous. There were naughty ones. Wild ones who liked nothing better than to fight. Sad ones who never stop crying. And kind ones who help grannies. The story is about a good giant called a troll. Once there was a poor farmer. His wife was dead. He lived with his only son John by the mountains in Scotland. In the spring and summer, John and his father worked hard in the fields. In the autumn, they closed the farm and went down to the sea to fish. But one year, John's father felt too old for the trip. You'll have to go alone, he said to John. Just remember one thing, he warned. Don't stop at the big black rock. That's where the trolls live. Take good care. Don't worry, I will. As John drove up a rocky mountain path, the sky grew dark. Then, a storm blew up. Lightning flashed and turned the grove. John wanted his dad. At last, he saw a big black rock. Ah, I can shelter there, he thought. John had forgotten his father's warning. He was just glad to be out of the storm. He sat down outside the cave. Time for supper, he said to himself and unpacked his sack. He had bread, cheese, an apple and a very big fish. Mmm, crusty bread and smelly cheese, delicious. Suddenly, John heard a noise coming from inside the cave. He was so scared he stopped chewing. He could hear voices, babies' voices. We are hungry, they cried. John quickly picked up the fish and cut it in half. He threw both halves into the cave. The crying stopped at once. Whew, said John. Thank goodness for that. He was almost asleep when a giant shadow fell over him. John looked up. A troll! A troll was coming for him! I smell bad. Now he remembered his father's warning, but it was too late. The troll came over to John and picked him up. He shook with terror. This was his first fishing trip alone, and he was the one to be caught. But the troll was gentle. Don't be scared, she said. I want to thank you for feeding my children. The troll took John into the cave and looked after him. She even gave him her children's bed. It was lumpy, but John slept well. The next morning after breakfast, the troll waved John off. Thank these magic fishing hooks, she said. When you reach the sea, look for an old man called Charlie. You must go fishing with him and only fish near the pointed rock. Thank you, said John. I will. John did just as the troll had said. He found Charlie in an old hut by the beach. Will you come fishing with me? asked John. I you sure, said Charlie. I'm the worst fisherman in the world. I have never caught anything. Charlie showed John his boat. It was full of holes and falling to pieces. Don't worry, I can fix that, said John. He set to work with some tar and planks of wood. Soon, the boat was as good as new. Let's row to that pointed rock, John said to Charlie. They put worms on the magic hooks and started to fish. Hey, John cried a few seconds later. I've caught one. So have I, 
shouted Charlie. Another and another. They couldn't believe their luck. Their boat was full of fish. The other fishermen couldn't believe <gasps> it either. John told them to fish near the pointed rock. But when they tried, they didn't catch a thing. Every day for the entire winter, John's magic hooks caught hundreds of fish. Every day, John and Charlie cleaned the fish and hung them up to dry. They had more fish than all the other fishermen put together. When spring came, it was time for John to go home. On the way, he visited the troll and gave her half his fish. I could never have caught them without you. Thank you, she said. One day you'll have a dream about me. When you do, you must come back to my cave. Back at home, John helped his father on the farm. A year later, he had a dream about a troll, just as she had said. Father, I have to go and visit someone. He quickly left for her cave without telling his father where he was going. At last, he reached the cave. He peered inside. Hello, 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 he called. Is anybody home? Home, home. There was no answer. John crept into the cave. It was empty, except for two chests. Are they for me? John wondered. What could be inside? He put the chest on his cart and took them home. When he opened them, he found piles of treasure and gold. John and his father were so rich, they never had to work again. They lived happily ever after. Love and kindness is never wasted. They always make a difference.